हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल अनफॉग विद डॉक्टर अतहर परवीन मेनी एस्परेंट्स आर हैविंग मेनी डाउट्स रिलेटेड टू दिस ईएमआरएस नोटिफिकेशन एंड टीजीटी पीजीटी सिलेबस एंड हु कैन राइट मैथ्स एंड साइंस एग्जाम्स एंड व्हाट इज टायर टू एंड टायर थ्री सो इन दिस वीडियो मोस्ट फ्रिक्वेंटली आस्ड क्वेश्चन विल बी आंसर्ड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टी जी टी सिलेबस रिलेटेड टू टायर वन एंड टायर टू specifically for mathematics and science because in tgt there are 381 posts for only mathematics and 408 posts for only science so total we have 789 posts this time which is very huge actually so that's why we are here to give you some idea about the syllabus and what type of exam will be there and what is the eligibility criteria everything full details we will talk in this video related to tgt okay if you see the syllabus of tgt it will be more or less same like gpstr and of course this time they have introduced the descriptive type questions also in tier 2 right so we will see about all that in this video so this is the information related to how many posts and all that as we already told you mathematics is having 381 posts and science is having 408 posts let's talk with the tier 1 see in tier 1 exam you will have six parts it will be for 130 marks that 100 marks will be for part 1 general awareness part 2 reasoning ability part 3 uh, computer knowledge part 4 teaching aptitude and part 5 will be domain knowledge in part 6 you will have to write a language competency test which will include general english and general hindi and one regional language will be there one language will have 10 marks means general english will have 10 marks general hindi will have 10 marks and your regional language will have 10 marks with 10 questions so the aspirant should score at least 12 out of 30 all three languages put together if you don't score this minimum of 12 marks out of 30 then your rest paper will not be evaluated so make it a point that at least little bit of basic hindi you should be knowing then only things will become easy for you here okay see this is the syllabus part which we have downloaded from the website of emrs you will get it in our uh, telegram channel also this website is our nests website okay so for uh, tier 1 tgts this is the syllabus paper 1 will be general awareness which will include gk and current affairs paper 2 will be your uh, reasoning ability it will include uh, puzzles uh, seating arrangement data sufficiency statement based questions including verbal reasoning inequality blood relation sequences and series direction test uh, assertion and reasoning venn diagram doesn't it look like same as our karnataka teacher recruitment exam syllabus isn't it then we have uh, computer knowledge ict here you have fundamentals of computer system basics of operating system ms office keyboard shortcuts and their importance important computer terms abbreviations computer networks cyber security and internet then in part 4 you have teaching aptitude teaching nature characteristics objectives and basic requirements learners characteristics factors affecting teaching methods methods of teaching teaching aids and evaluation systems then in part 5 you have domain knowledge which includes experimental activity based pedagogy and case study based discussions and national education policy nep 2020 which is very common in all exams right then comes our part 6 which includes the language competency in general english you will have 10 questions in general hindi you will have 10 questions and the regional language will have 10 questions in case you are taking regional language as english only then same syllabus but next level questions will be asked okay but you can take uh, kannada also you can take uh, urdu also as a regional language so that is not a problem so in general english they are giving topics like verb tenses voice subject verb agreement articles comprehension fill in the blanks adverb error correction sentence rearrangement unseen passages vocabulary antonyms synonyms grammar idioms and phrases in general hindi there are common topics which they have given previously also in previous recruitment also in emrs sandhi samas vilom shabd paryavachi shabd samanya asuddhiya 
वाक्यांशों के लिए एक शब्द मुहावरे लोकोक्तियां अपटित गद्यांश पर आधारित प्रश्न ओके सो इफ यू वॉन्ट वी कैन गिव यू मोर क्लासेस इन दिस यूट्यूब चैनल ओनली रिलेटेड टू जनरल इंग्लिश एंड जनरल हिंदी इफ यू वॉन्ट देन यू शुड राइट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिकॉज वी विल सी द डिमांड्स ऑफ द एस्परेंट्स एंड देन ओनली वी विल मेक द वीडियोज एज एंड वेन रिक्वायर्ड जस्ट टू हेल्प यू ऑल ओके नाउ कमिंग टू TGT Tier 2 exam. See, we already told you, right? In Tier 1, you will have only MCQ-based questions. But in Tier 2, you will have MCQ-based questions plus descriptive questions, and they will take uh, only one is to ten aspirants. Like for example, if uh, in maths we have 381 vacancies, right? So they will take only 3810 aspirants from Tier 1 who have qualified. And for science post, they will take uh, 4080 aspirants. from tier 1 who have qualified to write tier 2 you will have mcq plus descriptive question paper once you are quali- i mean once you are in the merit list after writing tier 2 then you are selected for the job there is no interview for a tgt aspirants okay now let's see our maths syllabus we have real number elementary number theory matrices polynomials le- uh, linear equations in two variables pair of linear equations in two variables quadratic equations arithmetic progressions inequalities combinatorics calculus euclidean geometry then coordinate geometry areas and volumes trigonometry statistics probability so except uh, two to three chapters uh, rest all is little bit similar but little tough because it is a proper mathematics uh, uh, question paper right this only aspirants will write who are claiming for mathematics posts okay so that's why this is little bit of tough syllabus but science if you see it will be nearly equal to your uh, gpstr only of course in maths also many topics are there from gpstr okay now let us see for science science will include physics chemistry and biology right so first they have given physics questions effect of current light sources of energy motion force and newton's laws gravitation work energy and power flotation sound then comes your chemistry matter nature and behavior states of matter structure of atom periodic classification of elements chemical substances chemical reactions metals and non metals carbon compounds conservation of natural resources man made material life processes control and coordination reproduction heredity and evolution the human eye and the colorful world tissues diversity of living organisms why do we fall ill natural resources uh, our environment and improvement in food resources so these the uh, biology and chemistry topics though are more or less nearly equal to gpst are only Uh, physics topics you can say are from hstr part also but we are comparing tgt to gpstr because you will be writing descriptive answers in some of the questions right so if you are preparing for gpstr means you will have qualified for uh, ctet also right many aspirants are qualified for ctet that's why they are preparing for gpstr that's why we are comparing tgt to uh, gpstr uh, syllabus okay now i will give you most important information so here we will talk about who is eligible because we are getting many questions related to madam what will be there in maths what will be there in science madam am i eligible for only maths or only science what question paper will be there so so many confusions are there so that's why i'm giving you all the important frequently asked questions by all the aspirants i'm answering here okay so first thing is that for tgt mathematics who is eligible aspirants who have done bsc in mathematics for all 3 years with at least 1 year you should have read physics and you should have read chemistry for at least 1 year along with maths you should have done physics and chemistry but if you have not done chemistry in that place electronics aspirants can also Uh, write this maths tgt even computer science aspirants can write and even aspirants who have done the combination of maths physics and statistics they can also write okay clear right so make a point here aspirants who have done pcm who have done pme who have done pmcs 
and who have done physics, maths and statistics. You all are eligible to write TGT mathematics exam but other criteria are there which you should fulfill. I will tell you later. First let me talk about science aspirants. So aspirants who have done life sciences or biology in their BSc along with the botany zoology all three years they should have done i mean aspirants will take combination like this right cbz they take right so you have botany and zoology there but along with that you have chemistry so that is important here only those aspirants are eligible for science tgt but along with this see the age limit it is a 35 years plus relaxation are given for women so they are given 10 years so women aspirants need not worry up till 45 years also you can write this uh, exam for SCST they have given five years of relaxation age and uh, for OBC they have given three years okay and most important you should have 50 marks in your B.Ed and you should have qualified CTET paper too then if you have done B.Sc with the above combinations then you can write this exam many computer science aspirants and electronics aspirants keep asking about this doubt so that's why I'm making clear for TGT mathematics you will be applicable if you have done maths 3 years along with that if you have done chemistry physics or in place of chemistry electronics computer science statistics will do but physics compulsory you should have done for one year okay clear right so I hope that I have cleared all your doubts here if you have any more doubts please write in the uh, comment section and you can also write in our telegram channel and if you are a aspirant who is preparing for GPSTR, then this is a golden chance for you. Okay. We will keep on making videos now. So don't worry. Next we will make syllabus for PGT. Also we will keep on making videos related to your English grammar and your uh, general uh, Hindi also. So that things will become easy for you. But it will depend upon your request. Who all are asking and how many aspirants are asking that we will see and decide what videos we have to make in the near future to help all the EMRS aspirants. Okay. Thank you. All the best. Bye.